estimation of the concentration of an acid by conductometry. A determination of concentration of strong acid solution with a strong base by a conductometric titration method. Apparatus conductivity meter, conductivity cell, burette, burette stand, backers, and measuring jar. Chemicals required HCl solution 0.1 m. NaOH solution. Principle Conductometer titration is a type of titration in the instrumental methods of chemical analysis in which the electrolytic conductivity of the reaction mixer is continuously monitored as one reactant is added. The end point in these titrations is determined by means of a conductance measurement. They are based on the principle that the conductance of an electrolyte solution depends on the number of ions, their charge and mobilities. As the alkali is added from the burette into the cell containing acid, the concentration of H plus ions change in a graphical manner which leads to a considerable change in the electrical conductance of the solution which is measured using a conductivity meter then from the plot of the conductance versus volume of alkali the precise neutralization point is determined the neutralization reaction between electrolytic solution of HCl and NaOH solution is HCl plus NaOH gives rise to NaCl plus H2O. In this titration of HCl against NaOH, initially the conductance of HCl solution is very high due to complete ionization. As the alkali is added, the conductance of the solution decreases and after the neutralization point, the conductance starts increasing. This is because of the addition of alkali. The fast moving H plus ions are replaced by Na plus ions. Once the neutralization point is reached, addition of alkali introduces OH minus ions, thereby increasing the conductivity of the solution. Procedure fill, fill the burette with 0.1 m NaOH solution. Pip it out 20 ml or 40 ml HCl into a clean 100 ml backer. For our convenience and for better readings, we are taken a 40 ml HCl solution into a 100 ml backer. Dip a conductivity cell in the HCl solution and connect it to the conductivity meter and note the initial conductance of the solution. Add 1 ml of NaOH solution from the burette to HCl solution. Stir well and measure the conductance. Repeat the procedure for addition of 1 ml of NaOH and take 15 to 20 readings. Here we are going to discuss about the second experiment that is estimation of strength of an HCl by using conductivity meter. 
this is called conductivity meter by using this conductivity meter we have to find out the conductance of the acid solution and this is called conductivity cell so in this experiment we required operators burette beaker measuring cylinder conductivity meter and conductivity cell next coming to the solutions that is naoh and hcl solution NaOH is the strong base, HCl is the strong acid. NaOH means sodium hydroxide, HCl means hydrochloric acid. So here, before going to the procedure, first we have to discuss about the principle. So here, let us consider the reaction NaOH plus HCl gives rise to NaCl plus water. Here, NaOH is the strong base, HCl is the strong acid. Here, 40 ml HCl solution we have to take it in the beaker. This is called beaker. In this beaker, we have to take 40 ml HCl solution and fill the burette with NaOH solution. Here, before base is added, means here base NaOH, NaOH we have to take it in the burette. Before base is added, the conductivity of acid solution is high because of due to the presence of high mobility of H plus ions. So, the H plus ions is having high mobility. When we are adding NaOH from the burette, the high mobility of H plus ions are combined with OH minus ions to form a water molecule. At this time, the solution will be decreased, neutralized, that is why the solution means the readings are decreased. But after the end point or after the neutralization point, again the conductance will be raised because of NaOH concentration will be more in the beaker, NaOH is the strong base. So that is why again the conductance will be raised along with the curve. So that is why when we are plotting NaOH on x axis, conductance on y axis, we are getting V shaped curve. This is about the principle of this experiment, very very important. Next coming to the procedure, fill the burette with NaOH solution. In this burette we have to fill the NaOH and take 40 ml of HCl solution into a beaker. So, this is 40 ml HCl solution taken in the beaker. Here, without adding NaOH, NaOH is the strong base, we have to dip the conductivity cell into a beaker and note down the initial conductance of the acid. So, that is why when you are observing the table here, serial number, volume of NaOH and conductance. Here serial number 1, 0 ml NaOH means without adding NaOH, the conductivity of acid solution we have to note down that is, so now this is check position is there, so again it is converted into a conductance position, here note down the conductance of the acid solution. This is the con conductivity experiment, estimation of HCl by conductometry, for this experiment we are taking 40 ml of HCl, we have to measure 40 ml of HCl by using a measuring jar and we have to transfer that into a beaker, okay into the beaker we have now taken 40 ml HCl. Next this is the conductivity meter, digital conductivity meter which is connected to a conductivity cell, this is the conductivity cell which is dipped in distilled water, okay. Now we have to take the 
conductivity cell from the distilled water and dip into the hcl solution the conductivity cell should be dipped into the hcl solution then we can note down conductance values from the distal conductivity meter these are the conductance values here we have okay by dipping digital by dipping conductivity cell in the hcl we have to note down the conductance value from the conductivity meter okay this is strong acid hcl so you will get a high conductance value due to h plus ions then we have to add NaOH from the burette we have to fill NaOH up to the mark and we have to add 1 ml of NaOH from the burette into the HCl solution okay HCl plus NaOH 1 ml NaOH by adding 1 ml NaOH into the HCl solution dissolve it and you note down the change in the conductance value then again add 1 ml of naoh from the burette into the hcl solution again note down the conductance value from the distal conductivity meter again we have to add 1 ml of naoh from the burette into from the burette into the hcl solution and again note down the conductance value you will observe a decrease in conductance values okay so here by adding 1 1 ml each time of naoh from the burette into the hcl solution we have to note down the conductance values from the distal conductivity meter that is the experiment again add 1 ml the value will again slowly decrease now we are adding 4 ml 4 to 5 ml again the reading decreases now 5 to 6 ml the value is 1.6 decreased again Six to seven. At one point, point the value of conductance increases. Here again, you observe a increase in the conductance value. That value you have to note down. Again. One one ml like this, you have to add. Again, the value slowly increases. So you will observe the increase in the conductance value again. So. by taking the values of for every one one ml increase for every one ml of volume of NaOH added we can obtain the values as shown in the given table graph a graph is plotted to the volume of NaOH added on x axis and corresponding corrected 
conductance measured on y axis and the two straight lines obtained are extrapolated to intersect each other the point of intersection is the point of neutralization and the corresponding volume of NaOH gives the volume required to neutralize the 20 ml or 40 ml of HCl taken here we are taken a 40 ml of HCl this is a model graph of conductance with respect to volume of NaOH added it gives an end point is as shown in figure given table we can from the given table by drawing the volume of conductor conductometric titration of NaOH with HCl we have taken xx scale of 1 ml per division whereas y axis scale is 1 micro micro siemens per division or mos the end point is 6 ml the concentration of hcl is calculated as m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 where m1 equals to molarity of standard NaOH solution which is 0.1 m v1 is volume of standard NaOH solution run down which is equal to 6 ml from the graph v2 is volume of HCl plus 20 ml which is equal to 40 ml m2 is molarity of HCl solution we will find out with the help of the formula m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 by substituting the values of m1 v1 and v2 we can find the value of m2 which is, is equals to 0.015 m amount of hcl present in 1 liter equals to m2 multiplied by 36.5 which gives rise to 0.547 grams per liter result molarity of hcl is equals to 0.0015 m and amount of hcl present in 1 liter equals to 0.05475 grams per liter thank you for watching please like share and subscribe if you like